Hey, Peter. Peter Britt. We did it. We finally figured out all the boss weapon special abilities. What do you mean you don't care? What the fuck, Peter? Oh, well, hello there. It's me. Nobody. And with me and a few others, we have finally figured out all of the weapon special abilities. Which is pretty awesome, in my opinion. Now, if for some reason one of these doesn't work for you, please, don't blame me. It's those sleazy developers that didn't give us no clue whatsoever on how to unlock most of these weapons' abilities. They're kind of dicks for doing that. I also give a little bit of information of how to get the newly updated quest weapon arts or special attacks. But be warned, the Herald of the Maw quest is kind of buggy. People have a hard time getting the melody to play. Developers, if you see this, please fix it. But anyways, are you looking to unlock some pretty cool boss weapon special abilities? Well, we have found most, if not all, of the weapon special abilities in one-handed and two-handed alike. And we pretty much figured out all the steps needed. Some of them know, I don't know the specifics, but I can get you pretty close if you follow all of my steps. And I can confirm that after you start a new game plus, zero or otherwise, your weapons will still work. And a special thanks to Timothy for being our little test dummy. Fuck off, you little shit. Damn it, Timothy. I'm trying to thank you. I don't want no thanks. Just fuck right off with all that bullshit. You're awful grumpy today, Timothy. Well, if you don't want to talk, I guess we can always test weapons out on you. Oh, what the fuck was that? I know you always like my Light Reaper special attack. No, I don't. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry, Timothy. He's being very rude. I'll see you next time. Well, that's pretty much it for the intro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Or don't, because you know people are going to do what they're going to do. But thank you for watching. Let's go get those boss weapon special attacks. Every single one. Let's go get them. St. Latimer's Relic Spear. For St. Latimer's Relic Spear, I want to congratulate the one who actually found how to unlock it. He's a YouTuber by the name of Bravos, at Bravos Warrior. He makes some really good Lords of the Fallen content, and I highly suggest you subscribe to his channel. He's the one that cracked the code, and I appreciate you, my dude. But let's go get the special attack. To unlock the special attack, you will need to summon Stormin for this fight. The Congregator of Flesh has a parasite, so you want to get rid of that first. He's a big boss on poison, so hopefully you have a few vials to cure it on you. Get rid of the parasite, and then you and Stormin just fuck him up. After he's dead, going to Umbral. Say bye to Stormin. Bye, Stormin. You go, so play the stigma. Listen to it, and get the remembrance. After that's done, it'd probably be a good idea to use the Hollowed Centennial Prayer. Just for good measure. Not quite sure if it's required or not. But after you do that, make your way into Forsaken Fin. Stop by the Vestige and return to Skyrest. Hopefully you have found the Bowl of Revelations already. Because now we gotta turn that into Mohu. Hand over the Bowl of Revelations. And this will allow you to exchange remembrances to get boss weapons. If you already have the spear, you don't have to purchase it. But if you don't have the spear, you definitely need to have it on hand. Return to Forsaken Finn and make your way to the Hushed Saint. If you can, it'd be a good idea to upgrade this weapon to plus 10 as soon as possible. Once you made it to the Hushed Saint's boss arena, it doesn't matter who you summon. If you want to do Kukujin's quest, you can even summon Kukujin. Let me just add that I summon Kukujin for this fight. But just to be on the safe side, I would suggest summoning Stormin. That way you'll know for sure that you'll get the weapon art. But the important thing here is you need to land the final blow on the Hush Saint to get the special attack. If you don't land the final blow, 
you will not get it and you'll have to start all over again. So, let's go get it. If you're a higher level, it would be a good idea to whittle him down until he gets low on health. When he's low on health, just use your strongest attacks with the spear against him. Did I get it, Kukujin? I couldn't tell. You was going pretty ape shit. I did it! I got the special attack. Thanks, Kukujin. I'll see you next time. Hey, Timothy! You want to see the special attack? No, I don't want to see that bullshit. Leave me the fuck alone. Timothy, that's not very nice. I I'm gonna show it to you anyway. I said fuck off. Well, that's a cool poison attack. <laughs> what the fuck did you do to me? Try the one-handed one. Oh, it's kind of like a poison thrust. What the fuck, man? Fuck off. Oh, you little bitch. Well, that's cool. So the one-handed attack does like a poison poke. And the two-handed attack does a AOE of poison. To get the Hush Saints weapon art, or special attack, you need to do the Halloween event. I kind of figured it out a long time ago, but somebody told me it didn't work. So I never really tried it. But again, our good buddy Bravos, he actually did it and basically got the credit for figuring it out. I mean, really? Fuck! I had it at the tip of my tongue. Whoever it was that said it didn't work, go fuck yourself. Nah, I'm just playing. But really. To do the Halloween event, you need to go soulflay all the five stigmas around the world. And you can only start this quest once a hush saint is defeated. I would suggest summoning Stormund. That way you'll know for sure that you'll get the weapon art. But after you've done all that, you have to equip the Hush Saint armor set. Then go back to the boss arena and you will find a weird wooden structure near the center. And in this center is a weird little soul flame thingamabob. You have to go into Umbral and soul flay that thing. On a side note, I don't know if you have to use the Hush Saints Halberd to get the final blow, but I would do it just in case. But you go back and you still play this thing, and a pumpkin head red reaper will appear. You just fight him, take him out, get him down to low health, and then use your Hush Saints Halberd to poison him and then dispatch of that little red imposter. But when you try to use it, you'll notice you can't do the special attack. Like, what the fuck? Really? You also need yet another key ingredient. You also need the Hush Saint shield. Hey, Timothy. Downfall is you'll probably be fat rolling. Oh, I got you now, you little bitch. Timothy, come the fuck down. You're my little hoe now. Timothy, let's try the one-handed special attack. Oh, that's cool. Look off. All right, the two-handed special attack. Hey, you're poison. I don't feel so good. Look off. Oh, wow. Oh, you little bitch. Timothy, I'm so sorry. Well, that was cool. So the one-handed attack does a little poisonous twirl, and it also buffs your weapon. And the two-handed special attack does a powerful poisonous slam, which is pretty cool if you're going for a strength slash poison build. Thank you, Bravos. We appreciate you. Finally got Judge Cleric's Radiant Sword and Judge Cleric Spear to work. A special thanks to Alan Lassiter for helping us out. He confirmed that there was a couple stigmas we needed to soul play, so thanks, bud. We really appreciate you. To get the Judge Cleric Radiant weapons to do its 
special attack. You need to finish Storman's quest by giving him the two banner pieces. Exhaust his dialogue, and he will appear on a banner. I think that's him impaled on a banner right before Judge Cleric's boss fight. You also need to talk to this guy at every location he pops up in. Exhaust his dialogue in every location and when you finally fight Judge Cleric and defeat her, the thorn chalice will drop in the center of the boss arena. Now once you get to the Mansa Hollow Brothers, I would suggest so flaying everything you find until you get to this point. But this is the one that I heard is the main ones we have to soul flay. I'm pretty sure there's more, so just soul flay everything you can find up until you get to Judge Cleric. After you soul flay that one and you make it to the vestige of I really owe the cursed knight or however you pronounce it Open the door and to your right there will be another stigma you can soul flay Continue on Watch out for this guy that pops up right there Ooh. watch out for that guy over there cuz he'll snipe you as well Ooh. but to finish Stormin's quest he will be right here is that him impaled that is him impaled just pick up his stuff and his quest is complete. Now we will run up here to this place and there's a stigma up here we need a soul flay as well. Right there. After you fight and defeat Judge Cleric, the Thorn Chalice should drop right near the middle right here you pick that up I don't know if it's a requirement of the quest but better to have it than not have it as of right now we cannot use it we're gonna come in we're gonna so flay that for the remembrance Go ahead and use the Hollow Centennial Prayer. Why not? And it works! We unlocked it! Yay! We can now do the special attack. To get the punishment and judgment hammers, you would have to defeat General Engstrom. And you'll immediately be able to use the weapon art. The flickering flail weapon art you'll be able to perform once you do the Illuminator Aubrey quest line fully. It's an annoying quest line, so beware. But the one-handed weapon art is pretty cool. For the horn skulls weapon art, you'll be able to use this weapon art immediately after you finish Herald of the Maul quest, which is kind of buggy. Some people have trouble with the melody, getting it to actually play when they gesture at the idols. But once you get it, it's pretty cool. When it comes to getting the Tankred Mancatcher special ability, or any weapon ability for that fact, no one really knows how to get them. They just complete steps and give off educated guesses of how they work. So if it doesn't work, don't blame me. Blame the devs for not giving us any clues whatsoever on how to unlock these cool special abilities. But from what I know so far, taking these steps may increase your chances of getting this ability. If you so flayed every stigma on the way there from the Mance of the Hollow Brothers, after you summoned Stormin for the boss fight, so flayed the stigma and did the Orion Vow of Protection, 
by that stigma that has a whole book for a dialogue. After you upgraded your weapon to a plus 10 and it still doesn't work, try coming to Pita Bread here. Hey Pita. And do the Orion Vial protection in front of her. For me it worked the first time after beating the tankery guy and doing the Orion Vial protection at the stigma. So naturally I thought summoning Stormin and doing that gesture was all you needed. But some people have been complaining that they can't get theirs. So to help you better your chances, please. Starting from the vestige of Brother Jeremiah, so flay every stigma that you can find on your way to the tower. I would start off at vestige of Brother Jeremiah. And from here you would want to so flay every stigma you run across. The first one being up here. You gotta jump across there to get to it. This one. And the only reason why I think this is part of it is because that's actually him right there. There's one hidden in the tower. So make sure you get that on your way down to the boss fight. Along with the people in the cage right before the boss fight. And to be on the safe side, just so flay everything you come across. I believe you also have to summon Stormin for this fight. Unless you're doing Kukujin's quest and you don't want the weapon art. But I'm pretty sure you gotta summon Stormin. You defeat Tankred, Master of Contagions, with Stormin. After you defeat his candy ass, say goodbye to Stormin. It's not required, but I like to say goodbye. Because he's a cool dude. So play that, just in case it's part of it. Because they didn't really give us any directions. After he finishes his long dialogue, we're going to use Orion Valor Protection. And that should unlock the Tankard Man Catcher's weapon art, or special attack. I like the one-handed, like a lightning bolt straight into people's faces. Okay, let's start with the Light Reaper stuff since it's the basically the coolest, or at least I think so. First off, the Light Reaper swords. So fucking cool. Next up, the spear. Oh, that's badass. Light Reaper Spear Special Attack, one-handed. Pretty different, pretty cool. The dagger's move set. That is cool. It's like a fucking whip. Timothy! Timothy, can I, can I try this out? Ooh. Also does burn damage. What's that? Ooh, a key. Timothy, how about the spear now? Would you just fucking stop it already? And attack. That didn't do much damage, did it? Ooh, I think the trail, like, sticks around for a bit. Yeah, adds chip damage. Stop it, Timothy. Fuck off. I was hoping it'd do another attack, but it doesn't. And you're dead, Timothy. Timothy, one more with the Reaper swords. Woo! That's always nice. Thanks, Timothy. You did great. But to do the swords and spear special attack, you would have to do the Paladin's request. Do Isaac's quest line and summon him at the Light Reaper's final spot in Upper Calrith and defeat him with Mr. Isaac on your side, and you'll be able to perform the special attacks for both the swords and the spear. Then there's Horror War Devella's sword. Using this sword alone does nothing. 
You'd have to complete Dunmire's quest, which involves going to the depths and going into the realm of the putrid mother. You'll find Dunmire here being all crazy like. That's bad, bro. That's really fucking bad. After going back to the mines and picking up Dunmire's quest items, his armor set and his weapon, and you have the Martyr Shackle equipped, it will allow you to do the special attack. Which is pretty fucking cool. I really like that weapon art. That's pretty cool. Umbral has always been my kind of favorite. I think I'm gonna do an Umbral build next. Guided by our immaculate lady judge cleric. The hollowed centennial prayer opens up additional dialogue. That with the thorn chalice, you'll be able to do the corrupted sword weapon art. Which is pretty cool. So requirements for this you need to get the thorn chalice by talking to that merchant. I have all his locations. It should appear in the arena after you defeat George Cleric. I said George Cleric. It's Judge Cleric. It'll appear right here. Just pick that bad boy up. And you're good to go. That and you do the prayer in front of PETA and she'll talk to you. And you'll be able to perform the special attack. Hey, buddy. Oh, fuck. You nicked me. Come on, buddy. Oh, wow. 500 damage. Doesn't do that much. To get the weapon special attack, we're gonna need to summon the tortured prisoner. Not Kukujin. There she is. Come on, baby. We need to go defeat your hubby. Oh, wow. She will help you knock his ass into oblivion. Defeat him with her help. And I'll finish up her quest after you talk to her after the fight. And you should be able to use the weapon special attack. So play that to get the remembrance. Talk to her. Finish your quest. She'll give you a ring. And kind of fade away like Thanos. Yeah, there she goes. With her quest being done, we can now use the Queen Head's Hammer Special Attack. The two-handed heavy. Pretty fucking cool. Drains all of your stamina though. See what the one-handed heavy looks like. Well, that's pretty cool too.
And of course, there's Pita Bread's and Elena's sword special attack. This is also really cool. Umbral magic looks really cool to me on this game. I mean, it's different than anything else I've ever seen. Isn't that right, Peter Brett? Cool as fuck. But to get this special attack, you would have to complete the Umbral ending and defeat Elaine and then turn in her boss remembrance to get this purple sword. And then you'll have to play through the game again and get the old stone. You can get the old stone at the L house. From the L house vestige, you will come out this way, climb down the ladder, and try not to get murdered by everything. There's two doggos down here that will and can murder you. Run down this way. Go into Umbral. And so play this stigma to get the old stone. After that, talk to Pita Bread. Choose the old stone and it will open up an additional dialogue. And then you'll be able to perform this really cool attack. Could be good, could be bad depending on what your stats are. And everybody's already seen the way of the bucket quest. Still pretty cool weapon art. Peter Brett, you see that? Yeah, it's a long, annoying quest. But I look cool, right? Baby? Alright, fine. What the fuck ever. Well, that's pretty much it for all the weapons that I've found so far. If anything else comes up, I will make a longer video on it. Hope this has helped, my dudes. Until next time, have fun. Did you enjoy this video? Consider subscribing to the main channel at Mr. Nobody Elden Souls where it's more focused on invading. Or the second channel at Nobody Elden Things where its focus is on helping and will be the main hub for invading for dummies. Subscribe to both and I promise you will not be disappointed. Thank you for watching, my tarnished. And we will see you next time. Like and subscribe or I'll death blight you in your sleep. This message has been approved by the mayor of Froggy Town. Uh, uh.